For the first time, astronomers at NASA have observed an object escape from a black hole. Known for their strong gravitational attraction, not even light can escape the grasp of a black hole. However, this discovery may change our understanding of these phenomena forever. Let's take a closer look. Black holes are some of the strangest and most fascinating objects in space. They're extremely dense with such a strong gravitational attraction that not even light can escape their grasp. The Milky Way could contain over 100 million black holes, though detecting these gluttonous beasts is very difficult. At the heart of the Milky Way lies a supermassive black hole, Sagittarius A asterisk. The colossal structure is about 4 million times the mass of the Sun and lies approximately 26,000 light years away from Earth. The first image of a black hole was captured in 2019 by the Event Horizon Telescope Collaboration. The striking photo of the black hole at the center of the M87 galaxy, 55 million light years from Earth, thrilled scientists around the world. Albert Einstein first predicted the existence of black holes in 1916 with his general theory of relativity. The term black hole was coined many years later in 1967 by American astronomer John Wheeler. After decades of black holes being known only as theoretical objects, the first black hole ever discovered was Cygnus X1, located within the Milky Way in the constellation of Cygnus, the Swan. Astronomers saw the first signs of a black hole in 1964 when a sounding rocket detected celestial sources of X-rays. In 1971, astronomers determined that the X-rays were coming from a bright blue star orbiting a strange dark object. It was suggested that the detected X-rays were a result of stellar material being stripped away from the bright star and gobbled up by the dark object. According to the Space Telescope Science Institute, approximately one out of every thousand stars is massive enough to become a black hole. Since the Milky Way contains over 100 billion stars, our home galaxy must harbor some 100 million black holes. Though detecting black holes is a difficult task, and estimates from NASA suggest there could be as many as 10 million to a billion stellar black holes in the Milky Way. The closest black hole to Earth is dubbed the Unicorn and is situated approximately 1,500 light years away. The nickname has a double meaning. Not only does the black hole candidate reside in the constellation Monoceros, its incredibly low mass, about three times that of the Sun, makes it nearly one of a kind. In 2019, the Event Horizon Telescope collaboration released the first image ever recorded of a black hole. The EHT saw the black hole in the center of galaxy M87 while the telescope was examining the Event Horizon. The image maps the sudden loss of photons. It also opens up a whole new area of research in black holes, now that astronomers know what a black hole looks like. In 2021, astronomers revealed a new view of the giant black hole at the center of M87, showing what the colossal structure looks like in polarized light. As polarized light waves have a different orientation and brightness compared to unpolarized light, the new image shows the black hole in even more detail. Polarization is a signature of magnetic fields, and the image makes it clear that the black hole's ring is magnetized. Black holes have three layers, the outer and inner event horizon, and the singularity. The event horizon of a black hole is the boundary around the mouth of the black hole, past which light cannot escape. Once a particle crosses the event horizon, it cannot leave. Gravity is constant across the event horizon. The inner region of a black hole, where the object's mass lies, is known as its singularity, the single point in space-time where the mass of the black hole is concentrated. Scientists can't see black holes the way they can see stars and other objects in space. Instead, astronomers must rely on detecting the radiation black holes emit as dust and gas are drawn into the dense creatures. But supermassive black holes, lying in the center of a galaxy, may become shrouded by the thick dust and gas around them, which can block the telltale emissions. Sometimes, as matter is drawn toward a black hole, it ricochets off the event horizon and is hurled outward rather than being tugged into the maw. Bright jets of material traveling at near relativistic speeds are created. Although the black hole remains unseen, these powerful jets can be viewed from great distances. The EHT's image of the black hole in M87 was an extraordinary effort, requiring two years of research even after the images were taken. That's because the collaboration of telescopes, which stretches across many observatories and worldwide, produces an astounding amount of data that is too large to transfer via the Internet.
So far, astronomers have identified three types of black holes – stellar black holes, supermassive black holes, and intermediate black holes. When a star burns through the last of its fuel, the object may collapse or fall into itself. For smaller stars, the new core will become a neutron star or a white dwarf. But when a larger star collapses, it continues to compress and creates a stellar black hole. Black holes formed by the collapse of individual stars are relatively small but incredibly dense. One of these objects packs more than three times the mass of the Sun into the diameter of the city. This leads to a crazy amount of gravitational force pulling on objects around the object. Stellar black holes then consume the dust and gas from their surrounding galaxies, which keeps them growing in size. Small black holes populate the universe, but their cousins, supermassive black holes, dominate. These enormous black holes are millions or even billions of times as massive as the Sun, but are about the same size and diameter. Such black holes are thought to lie at the center of pretty much every galaxy, including the Milky Way. Scientists aren't certain how such large black holes spawn. Once these giants have formed, they gather mass from the dust and gas around them, material that is plentiful in the center of galaxies, allowing them to grow to even more enormous sizes. Supermassive black holes may be the result of hundreds or thousands of tiny black holes that merge. Large gas clouds could also be responsible, collapsing together and rapidly accreting mass. A third option is the collapse of a stellar cluster, a group of stars all falling together. Fourth, supermassive black holes could arise from large clusters of dark matter. This is a substance that we can observe through its gravitational effect on other objects. However, we don't know what dark matter is composed of because it does not emit light and cannot be directly observed. Scientists once thought that black holes came in only small and large sizes, but research has revealed the possibility that mid-size or intermediate black holes could exist. Such bodies could form when stars in a cluster collide in a chain reaction. Several of these IMBHs forming in the same region could then eventually fall together in the center of a galaxy and create a supermassive black hole. In 2014, astronomers found what appeared to be an intermediate mass black hole in the arm of a spiral galaxy. And in 2021, astronomers took advantage of an ancient gamma ray burst to detect one. Research from 2018 suggested that these IMBHs may exist in the heart of dwarf galaxies. Observations of 10 such galaxies revealed X-ray activity, suggesting the presence of black holes of from 36,000 to 316,000 solar masses. The information came from the Sloan Digital Sky Survey, which examines about 1 million galaxies and can detect the kind of light often observed coming from black holes that are picking up nearby debris. In 2015, astronomers using the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory detected gravitational waves from merging stellar black holes. There are two theories on how binary black holes form. The first suggests that the two black holes are in a binary form at about the same time from two stars that were born together and died explosively at about the same time. The companion stars would have had the same spin orientation as one another, so the two black holes left behind would have as well. Under the second model, black holes in a stellar cluster sink to the center of the cluster and pair up. These companions would have random spin orientations compared to one another according to LIGO scientific collaboration. LIGO's observations of companion black holes with different spin orientations provide stronger evidence for this formation theory. For the first time, a black hole that is ejecting hot material into space at almost the speed of light has been seen by astronomers. According to the researchers, the black hole in the Maxi J1820 plus 070 system has a mass around eight times that of the Sun, indicating that it is a stellar-sized black hole formed by the collapse of a massive star. The incident was observed by NASA's Chandra X-ray Telescope. The companion star orbiting the black hole has almost the same mass as the Sun. The immense gravity of the black hole drags the companion star's material toward the black hole's X-ray producing disk. While some of the heated gas in the disk will reach the event horizon and fall into the black hole, some will be ejected in a number of brief beams of jets. These jets are released along magnetic field lines from beyond the event horizon and aim in opposite directions. Chandra's four observations in November 2018 and February, May, and June 2019 offered a new picture of the black hole's activities. In 2021, scientists were again shocked when they saw light from behind a black hole. While light cannot escape a black hole, its extreme gravity warps space around it, which allows light to echo, bending around the back of an object. 
In a new study, researchers led by Dan Wilkins, an astrophysicist at Stanford University in California, used the European Space Agency's XMM Newton and NASA's New Star space telescopes to observe the light from behind a black hole that's 10 million times more massive than our sun and lies 800 million light years away in the spiral galaxy I Zicky one the study began with the researchers' desire to expand our understanding of black hole coronas, which are the source of the X-ray light that often radiates from the vicinity of these objects. Bright flares of X-ray light are emitted by gas that falls into black holes from their accretion disks, the disks of dust and gas that surround and feed these objects. The team spotted an X-ray flare in Zwicky 1 that was so bright that some of the light reflected on the gas falling back into the black hole. When that reflected light was bent around the back of the black hole by the object's extreme gravity, the team was able to spot it using the ESA and NASA space telescopes. The team didn't just observe this light, which is the first time it has been directly observed like this. They also took note of how the X-ray light changed color as it bent and moved around the back of the black hole. By observing the light's journey around the back of the black hole, the researchers hope to understand more about what really goes on that close to these gravitational vortexes. Following this groundbreaking study, the team aims to create a 3D map of the black hole surroundings, according to the statement. They also hope to better understand black hole coronas and explore how the corona of a black hole is capable of producing these bright X-ray flares. If you like this video, you may also enjoy this one, which talks about SpaceX's mind-blowing plan to land on Mars. Do you think a human can survive falling into a black hole? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below.